What's happening, everybody? Welcome back. This is Forgo, and today we have the update for the inscription of Labyrinth for Global. But we're on this JP account because I want to show you guys something really, really special concerning Nier. But before we get in Nier, I do want to check out these two new trailers that Curl Games to put out for Global, and this one's pretty cool. And this is actually for Luna's uh, skin, which is pretty cool. A nice little trailer for the skin and I, the music is just as always with girl games the music is banging it is just so good the bgm in this game is just mwah. it really is amazing listen to this yeah it really does like it really does motivate you to want to play it's awesome on top of everything else that the game makes you want to play for. The animations of this thing are so gorgeous. They really are. I mean, those things are sick. Those things are sick. So let me show you guys this other trailer here for the inscription of Labyrinth. Aww. Very different vibe than the uh, Luna trailer we just saw for her skin. Aww. Poor thing. Such a cool character, man. What's my name? It's only a code name. Oh. Just call me 21. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure that Kuro Games is working on an anime. I hope they are because seriously, this game has such potential for a good anime. My God, it, was, it could be so great. Like, think about it. Seeing all these animations, these characters, these voice actors. I mean, I think it'd be just amazing. Then seeing 21 do this, like if she was in it. Uh. Uh. Mm. Very cool. Definitely get you hyped up for uh, 21 for sure. And really for that skin for Luna. I mean, both those things look absolutely amazing. Now, let's get to the actual part of the video and that is talking about what they've done for the near rerun at least on the jp version of the game remember this is and this game is seven months ahead of global now i have no idea when near rerun will happen on global if it will happen but the fact that we do have it on jp really really does increase the possibilities of global getting that rerun so the first thing that i want to point out to you guys is that the skins are in here right these skins are about 16 dollars a piece these two were actually free in the original global release of the game but if you didn't play during global and you still want to pull for near and you want these skins i mean these are they're 16 dollars a piece is what 24 yen ends up coming up to so i just wanted to throw that there at you guys and something else that i want to throw out there is uh, the rumors that i kept hearing about near so check this out guys look at that you see those 30 shards for a2 for 9S and for 2B. And whenever you translate this is, it means whenever you pull for A2 once and you get her one time from the banner, you're gonna get 30 shards for free. So for those of you that, you know, did what I recommended during the global release of the game, where, you know, you went ahead, you, we got 50 shards from the event for A2, and if you pull for A2 first before you actually obtained her, then you could have, you know, had her at S rank, used 30 of those 50 shards, took her up to double S, and then they actually gave you another 30 shards for free. So what ended up happening was free-to-play players, if they just pulled for A2 one time, they had a double S A2 with 50 shards applied to her on top of that, and they only need 40 more shards. Well, if you pull for her one time in this, you're going to get 30 shards for free, which means you'll be able to triple S her. That is insane, guys. And if you pull her twice, you get 30 more shards. If you pull her three times, you get another 30 shards. It's actually pretty awesome. This is really, really sweet. So, you know, if they do this exact same thing as what they've done in JP, which, I mean, if the near rerun is going to happen global, guys, you can pretty much expect that they're going to do this. This is exactly what they did in the other versions of the near rerun. So I'm actually really happy to see that. That is amazing. The next thing that I want to throw out at you guys and get, let you know about is that 
I'm not seeing the whenever the original rerun or whenever the original near collaboration happened in global, we actually, you know, would get a discount on our black cards. You know, whenever we would go to the pity, which would normally cost 15,000 black cards, we actually would only have to do the near for 10,500 black cards because for every uh, multi or before every 10 pulls, you got 750 black cards in return from the game. But it doesn't look like they're doing that here. I don't see any text at all showing that that's going to happen. So it looks like you're going to have to pay 15,000 full black cards to go to the pity for any one of these three characters. Now, they do also have these deals in here. Now, this first deal is $7 and you can buy it twice and it actually has thousand, uh, a thousand of these. So for $14, you could actually get 2,000 of these collaboration tickets. I know you're free to play or thinking, hey, I don't care. But, you know, if you are a spender, you're interested in this, you want to know, that's why I'm telling you. This next pack you only buy one time for 3,000 yen, which is about $20. And it gives you 2,500 of these collaboration tickets and then or collaboration cards. And then you got the big dog for 7,000 yen. You can only buy it one time and it's going to give you 5,000 black cards. And this is the equivalent of about 50 American dollars. So this one's about 50 bucks. This is about 20 bucks. And this is about seven American dollars. I am disappointed to see that they're not giving you a return of 750 black cards every time you do a pull. But I really don't know, guys. Like, I did a couple little pulls on this account. This is not my account. Uh, my account's actually lost and gone. And so I, I really don't know. But from what I can tell, from all the texts that I've been looking at, it doesn't show that if you do pull the character uh, 10 times, that you're going to get 750 black cards in return. So it looks like you're going to have to pay the full price as what we normally do in all these banners for these characters but the fact they're giving you a free you know free 30 30 shards for every time you pull the character i mean if you pull them once you get the 30 shards for free if you pull them twice you get another 30 shards for free which means if you pull them twice you get 60 shards for free and if you pull them three times you get 90 shards for free right which is forty-five thousand black cards but still that's pretty amazing but again you know you free to play players that were hoping for triple uh, a2 triple s and you know you did what i recommended and what other youtubers recommended then you're only gonna be able to pull you, you only need to pull, pull a2 one time and you'll actually get a triple s which is i mean that's phenomenal guys i mean and that goes for all three of these characters right like if you're going for 2b and you didn't get 2b in the original banner then you could actually pull for her you'll get 30 shards you'll be able to double s her immediately that's lit and the same for 9s right i mean 9s was free but, it led, but if you're in a situation where you didn't even, you know, play the game during the near collaboration, then, I mean, this, this is going to be a really golden opportunity for players to level up these characters, man. So I, it's, it's pretty awesome. Honestly, it's pretty generous. Uh, that's really all there is when it comes to pertaining to the near characters in this update. But I mean, it's still really, really awesome. I would have liked to seen that discount though for the black cards and your pity will carry over from the original near collaboration that we did in global so guys let me know what you think about you know everything pertaining to near and also what do you think about the trailers for the luna skin and the inscription of labyrinth with 21 so guys let me know how you're all doing in game and i do stream on twitch at 9 p.m dg plus 7 time the link is in the description below and i hope you enjoyed the video thank you for watching y'all take care and have a good one see everybody